just briefly, so a few young girls have come to me, a few teenage girls, I might say, um, and have talked about you know, how does your schools have banned leggings in majority schools, and I, I know about this story in the Carlo school. Um, now, I don't know, before I say anything else, I don't know if it's true or false, I'm just, I don't know. I look through the evidence. Um, there's not enough, I will say, there's not enough evidence to say it's true. There's not enough evidence to say, it, you know, again, I'm in the middle, I'm just I know some people might have their minds made up that it's fake or whatever. I, I just don't know, I'm just sister. I don't know. I uh, haven't made up my mind. I look through loads of stuff, but I don't know. But uh, but going by these um, uh, young girls, I I think that I think that I I agree with them because I think schools are trying to you know stop this and really are just afraid that the media are going to be crusade against people. Um, and obviously I just say this straight and really I will say it straight. You know, young girls um you know when the MP for example um obviously uh, just to say that as long as they're not in two we're feeling of course and that's okay. But I don't see the harm in Lenin's. I might say, I don't see the harm. I don't see what the media is losing their mind about. Um, but then again, when do the media ever do, do something sensible? Um, but again, it's up to the girls. But again, if there's a teacher, just to say, if there's a teacher looking at young girls in an appropriate way, or even young men or whatever, um, so straight away kick them out, get rid of them, throw them away, put them, put them into some sort of us, put them into a uh, prison. For, um, obviously things... Um, but at the same, you but at the same time, as I said to somebody, you know, um, if the field, you know, because again, I do pee and I sweat buckets. I wear a big top, and um, I mean, God Almighty, I sweat buckets because you know I do loads of laps around fields. And I do different things in pee, um, and it's it's the, I'm not gonna lie to you, but it's very. It takes a lot out of you. It does take a lot out of you. And you would like to be wearing a nice t-shirt, um, or nice, you know, nice. Um, it would let in the air because obviously I wear a big. Take trousers. Um, so it's not the best atmosphere to be in. Um, with PE, obviously, and I understand why girls would wear leggings. It's a lot more comfortable. It's a lot more easier for them to do PE and things like that. I understand that. I completely understand that. Um, but I do find, just to say, because again, I'm not going to touch too long on this, um, but I do find it that instead of teachers looking at young boys, and I don't think um, people would disagree with me in that. Um, you know, you know teenagers nowadays, especially teenagers. Just talking about sexual schools here, just as a take for example. But um, you know, majority of schools have banned it. I think even my school has not allowed it. So as far as I'm know, as far as I'm aware, um, which I obviously don't take as right. I think they should be allowed. Um, because again, you know, people again, as long as they're not wearing two revealing things, and um, be different if the wedding would have brow and. You know, underwear or something like that. That'd be that'd be different kettle fish. That's obviously unacceptable. Yeah, and that's obviously unacceptable if the wedding with that into a secondary school. That's I'm sure people are hundred percent say that's unacceptable. Um, but it's leggings. Like I don't see the problem. I really, really don't see the problem. I know there might be some teachers out there that might be a bit, not witted, and you know I'm not well. Might as well straight. Um, and you know we have to deal with them. We have to deal with them very harshly. We have to deal with them very severely. If obviously if something arises like this. Um, but I don't see the problem. I have to say, um, I've heard many things around the years for the last few years in sexual schools in Calvin, Monaghan, and across the country. Um, I haven't heard much. I haven't heard much about your teachers. Um, uh, I don't know what how would you go looking at your young students. Um, haven't I might just say so. I haven't haven't heard much about over the last maybe year or two. I heard a bit more than I did before, but um. You know, again, it's about, I don't know, it's about, you know, you know, again, it's a hard to- topic to talk about. It's hard to know what's right and what's the right thing to do. Because I take it, you know, girls should be allowed to wear leggings to secondary school for PE. Um, not just for PE, just for the PE, not for the whole school, obviously. Um, not for the whole, you know, class period. Just for PE. Um, so, yeah, take care, everybody. That's just my opinion. So, if you have my if you have a different opinion, please leave it in the comment section below. Um, I don't know about this Carlos so just to say I don't know if it's true or false um, maybe I'm missing something I'm, I looked through a few articles um, and I don't, I don't know I'm, I'm in the middle I don't really know if it's true or not um, I would hope it's not true I might as well say I would hope it's not true um, because obviously that would be very um, very worrying I might as well say it would be very worrying so yeah please take care everybody bye